home this morning, my two wee girls said to me, Mummy, where are you going today? And I said, I'm going to meet the people who are going to deliver independence for Scotland. <laughs> Friends, I am truly honoured to be here today with you all on Carlton Hill. And in just a year from now, in this place and every town, city and village across Scotland, we will be celebrating our victory when we can finally choose the government that we choose. And that, my friends, is true democracy. I believe in the history of the world that will follow this time our time will be remembered as that moment in history when our nation secured equality, prosperity and fairness for all. Released from Westminster, we will be our own masters. And we know we can do this because Scotland's got what it takes. We've got more than what it takes to do this. We are, and we know we are, a great full of people with character, passion, tenacity and determination and it is time to do right by the people of this land. Let's live up to our traditions, believe in ourselves and in our country. A country in an independent Scotland that will have a future inclusive of all, no matter where you come from. Self-determination is written in my family's history. My father was born in India and made the journey post-independence to the new nation of Pakistan. Winning independence ran through his veins and it runs through mine. He migrated here and married my part Welsh, part Czech mother and I was born in London and brought up here in Edinburgh. And as a Scottish Asian, I am proud to stand side by side with you all today. Side by side as we reject Westminster governments which care more about bankers and billionaires than the poor, disabled and vulnerable. Side by side with you as we reject the unfairness and inequity of the bedroom tax. As we reject the withdrawal of rights and humane and compassionate care for the elderly and needy. And as we reject the welfare cuts and austerity measures are placing our men, women and children under horrific pressure. And, friends, side by side with you as we reject Trident nuclear weapon system that Westminster has dumped in our backyard. Let's, let's remove that obscenity from our shores and spend that £250 million every year not on global destruction but on social protection. Preserving and enhancing social protection. Now that's what I call national security. Well, at least they're true to their mission statement. They're all about no. No is a negative, an emptiness. It promises nothing. It says you can't have. It signals rejection and looks backwards, not forwards. There is only one route to a bright new tomorrow. I vote for independence next year. And will yes win? Yeah. Of course we'll win. And when yes wins, Scotland's wins. We all win. The children of this wonderful nation have 361 sleeps until we vote for their future. We have a duty to ensure that when they wake up on the 19th of September, 19th of September 2014, we haven't let the chance of a bright future be snatched away from them. Instead, my friends, let that be a very special birthday for each and every one of them. The casting of the mould into which we will pour a new, confident and energised Scotland for them to grow up in. Let's give them the gift that will last forever. So for every last minute of those 361 days and nights, let's give this campaign, this cause, every last ounce of our energy and strength. Let's make sure we win because the world is waiting.
Britain. Overseas and across continents, people are willing us on. From all of us here today, let them hear our response. We are coming. We are coming. We are coming home. Yes, Scotland! See, if I was you, I'd listen to home.